This is Jesse from Multisoft Corporation, your MLM solutions provider. Do you want to know how to make a SKU visible in the shopping cart while creating a product? Well, the simplest way that you can do is first and foremost, we need to make sure that we create our product and our SKU. Even though we can create our product and SKU so it could appear in the shopping cart, we need to make sure that the flag display in shop is visible or at least it's enabled in the system. So I'm going to show everyone an example of this product. Okay, we see that the product is available, but if we click to view the product, and this is just visiting the website so we don't have an account when I logged in, you can clearly see here that we don't see the SKU, we don't see the pricing, we don't see the add to cart button. So we need to double check our settings in the SKU of our product to make sure that display in, in shop is enabled or at least is active. So I'm going to switch over here to another web browser where I am logged in as the admin and that way I could go to products, product management and I go to products. And then I'm going to go ahead and edit the product which is this one here. So I'm going to place my cursor on top of the product name and then I'm just going to go and click on edit SKU. Then it's going to take me to the SKU and then I'm just going to click here on edit SKU. Or I could just click on the SKU name. Either way it's going to take me to the same area. Alright, so now we have the page loaded. So the number one thing that we need to confirm is making sure that display in shop is checked. If it's not checked, and that's the main reason why your SKU and the pricing and add to cart is not available. So we need to make sure so that way anyone that's going to go to the website, whether you're a customer, a distributor, or simply a visitor that's going to purchase products through the shopping cart, that they have the add to cart button that they will see the pricing of the product. So if you're a customer, you are going to see $29.95 for the product or the value that you added for the product. If you're logged in as a distributor, you're going to see the wholesale pricing. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and click Save and Close here. And that should save our changes for the SKU. So now I'm going to switch back over to the other browser so that way we can see that once I refresh my page for this product now we see the retail price the sales price you save so that will be part of the suggested retail price when you enter the pricing in the SKUs and then of course if it applies to your compensation plan whether it's binary matrix or unilevel and now we see the quantity box and the add to cart all right, so we always want to double check our settings and make sure that the settings that we want to apply is enabled and we always save our changes. Please share this webinar training with your company administrators and support team in order to enhance the services provided to you, to your customers and distributors. We appreciate your feedback and input. Please let us know if this helped and how we can improve supporting you. If you have any questions about this or any other trainings, would like to schedule one-on-one -on -one training with one of our CSRs, or would like to speak with a Multisoft account executive, please call us at 239-945-6433 or submit a help desk ticket request at helpdesk.marketpowerpro.com.